It's kind of interesting when you don't have a verbally challenged Italian in a boxing movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Creed 3. Now, I was excited for this film for a variety of reasons. For one, it was Michael B. Jordan's first try at being a director. This was also going to be the first film that didn't have Rocky in it. That was both a interest and a little bit of a worry to me because while the Creed movies have been very good, Rocky has been a bit of a heart of the film, especially in the first one. And even in the second one, rewatching it, I realize there's so many emotional moments that Rocky contributes to. And then also having Jonathan Majors as the heel, the villain of this film. One thing that I gotta say right off the bat, this is the shortest one of the three, and you do feel it in its overall composure. There are a few things that maybe could have been drawn out a little bit, even if the pacing is a little slow at the beginning. The true focus of this film is on Creed having kind of exceeded above his expectations. He's now kind of out of boxing. He's more trying to make it as a promoter. This is sort of going along the lines of the Rocky movies where Rocky would just kind of go into retirement, then out of retirement, and then in retirement, out of retirement. Then his friend from the past, Damien, played by Jonathan Majors, comes into the picture. Creed sees Damien as a means of redemption for himself as well as giving someone like him the same chance however Damien has ulterior motives and is using the pain and turmoil in the history as well as the inner hatred the inner jealousy of seeing his friend achieve the things that he wanted for himself and he wants to take that back and Majors is really good in this movie that's kind of without question his original demeanor of being friendly kind of you know wanting to be very kosher about what he's going to the heel turn and then sort of the mutual disrespect slash respect they have for each other is really great i think that there should have been more of that in the film i know that it is a focus i kind of wish i kind of seen a little bit more of it considering the film's length i think michael b jordan does a really good job he's great in everything the man is basically charisma and incarnate so to see him with a little bit more of a humiliation side i will say though even though rocky is not in this movie it is really starting to veer into the sequels of rocky territory in terms of a little bit above what would be kind of considered grounded. Obviously, the Rocky movies would go into that direction. Like, for God's sakes, a man died in the ring in the fourth movie. Jordan really wanted to have a lot more of a personal, a lot more of a darker, a lot more of a metaphorical story. And that is translated into the boxing scenes. And if you are going into this movie hoping to see really good boxing scenes, a kind of hate to disappoint you but out of all three of them this has the least entertaining boxing scenes whereas the conversations are really well done there's a lot of good close-ups a lot of trapping yourselves in the kind of awkwardness emotion of all the scenes that are in the film jordan does that really well it's kind of clear that he was doing what he could do the best with the boxing scenes there's a lot of cuts, a lot of fast editing. There's maybe one or two cool shots. At the very beginning of the movie, there's a t thing, there's this kind of this measuring technique that's not really used again until the end of the movie, and even then it's even used fleetingly. I thought there was going to be a little bit more of a newer dynamic, using more technology and kind of fast, slow to show off new boxing scenes. They don't really go down that route. If anything, in the final bout between... Damien and Creed. It gets a little on the nose. I do understand what they're going for. It does create a newer version of watching a boxing scene. Admittedly, it's not something you've seen before. I feel it also costs the intensity of the scene. It, the turmoils that Creed has gone through in the last two movies, whether it's the first one or the second one, both of them are highly more engaging than the turmoil he goes through in this movie. The film proceeds through all of this story and turmoil so quickly and almost with ease that it doesn't really make it as lasting as you would think it is. Now I understand that's kind of the idea of these movies that you know how the conclusion is going to come about, but even then there still is a fun intensity to the movies. Even the training montage is kind of disappointing and that shouldn't be. Jonathan Majors at one point double arm carries himself up ropes like one in each arm and he's just using the ropes to climb up 
That should have fucking wowed me. I go to these kind of boxing movies for escapism, but after Creed, I was also looking for intrinsic camera work. There were so many good long takes in Creed, and even there was more better presentation in Creed 2, in my opinion. Sure, the soundtrack's really good. I feel that the editing kind of chops away at it. While using IMAX camera, that was a cool idea, but because it's on such a big screen, you can see the rotoscoping are the cutting out of the guys they're not actually fighting in dodgers stadium now admittedly re-watching creed i could sort of see it too but with the imax camera it's just so much more obvious so my main complaint is if you're going to see this movie for boxing you're not going to get the experience you got from the last two movies now i understand this isn't real boxing these guys wouldn't throw haymakers in real life i watch movie boxing more than i actually watch real boxing but from an entertainment perspective i feel that it lets you down. But from a dramatic, personal acting perspective, this is definitely one of the betters. I would say it's better than two. If only I wish that the movie was longer, had a little bit more substance to it. But in all honesty, considering this is Michael B. Jordan's first attempt at directing a movie, he did a pretty good job in comparison to most. So I gotta give him points for that. In the end, my final rating for Creed 3 is a four out of seven. It's basically a tie with two. It does some things better than 2, but it also doesn't do things better than 2. If anything, if you haven't seen the original Creed, I watched it a couple of days ago, and that movie is still fire. Still so good. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about the movie. What did you guys think? Have you guys seen it? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.